Why methylfolate can sometimes make you feel worse can be put into three different categories. Digestive issues, inability to buffer its stimulating effects, and methylfolate trapping. As far as digestive issues, if you have ongoing issues like gas, bloating, and pain, it may be linked to a bacterial fungal overgrowth, oftentimes in the small intestine, and methylfolate acts like a growth factor for those microbes, leading to local digestive symptoms and sometimes systemic symptoms. So you may have to treat that underlying digestive issue. The stimulating effects of folate is the second reason why methylfolate can sometimes make you feel worse. It stimulates neurotransmitter production like serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, and these are very stimulating neurotransmitters and can sometimes make you feel stressed and anxious, especially if you already are feeling that way. In addition, deficiency in folate or methylfolate often leads to a glycine deficiency. Glycine in and of itself has a calming effect, but it also helps increase your levels of GABA, and GABA is one of our main calming neurotransmitters. And lastly, the third reason methylfolate can sometimes make you feel worse is due to folate trapping. This is a big one. If there's insufficient B12 or sometimes not enough homocysteine or methionine, it can prevent that methionine synthase enzyme from working and thus trapping the methylfolate there. This could lead to various symptoms like headaches, feeling anxious, fatigue, sluggish, etc. Understanding these methylation processes in the folate metabolism is essential. You can find more detailed information on methylfolate and MTHFR in my book and in my course. See the description for both of those. But usually addressing any underlying digestive issues, ensuring proper buffering capacity with things like glycine, and understanding methylfolate trapping will minimize methylfolate side effects because these are the reasons methylfolate can sometimes make you feel worse.